This is always a great time of the year, uh, a, a great kind of three-day meet for us to get to and, and see the NC2A format, work through that format, work just through some, um, uh, for lack of better words, just some logistics through the course of the meet, how we need to handle ourselves for prelims, finals, recover from finals to the next day prelims. Uh, we're off our body clock a little bit and that we're traveling out east, uh, so that's going to be a, a little bit of a challenge for us. But, uh, but no, I think our guys are excited to do that. There are six teams uh, at the Invitational, including us, and they're all good quality teams. I mean, we're seeing two quality teams from the SEC in Georgia and Auburn, just traditional uh, great programs, you know, Auburn, a traditional powerhouse in, 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 this, in the last 10, 15 years. Uh, Georgia certainly had one of the better, if not one of the best meets as a team with the personnel that they had at the NC2A meet last year in Austin. So you're looking at two great uh, SEC teams. And then we're seeing uh, a team coming down from uh, Penn State, uh, uh, you know, a very good uh, up and coming Virginia team. Uh, that that uh, you, know, you know certainly has some athletes that are going to be sharp at that meet. Uh, Florida State uh, is well coached, uh, not only by their head coach Frank Bradley, but their coaching staff as a whole. So we're, we're going to see some some really good uh, competition, and and our hopes is is that that brings out the best in us over the course of those three days. The first day uh, I'll be in that medley relay, uh, and in addition to the 200 IM. Uh, which is kind of a fun event for me. Uh, you know, I'm mostly focused on the breaststroke, but it's always a good opportunity to race. The second day, uh, we'll see some more of the, that relay action in the 400 medley, I believe, uh, in addition to the 100 breaststroke on that day. And then the third day, uh, we head into the 200 breaststroke for me. Uh, and that's, that will be a fun day for the team, just kind of see, you know, by that point, you know, third day of the meet, everyone gets a little tired, but I think it'll be a great opportunity for us to kind of come together as a team and finish finish the meet well. Yeah, I think the nice thing about uh, having Chuck now in in our environment for what's coming up on a year is is, is we're starting to explore a little more of his versatility. Uh, you know, certainly his breaststroke events, 100 tone of breaststroke are, are, are a focus uh, of his. That's his primary events, that's his primary stroke. He came in, was great for us last year at NC2As and finally in both the 100 and 200 breaststroke. Now we've explored a little bit of his IM, just started to work with that, started to train that a little bit, uh, started to explore some areas and that he can get a little bit faster in that particular event. And then of course he's, he adds such tremendous value to our relays, our 400 medley relay, our 200 medley relay. Both of those were NC2A championship relays for us last year. Chuck had tremendous splits on both of those relays with our 200 medley relay set in an American record, and Chuck was huge for us in that. I mean, I loved it when I first came here. Uh, it's pretty cool to see that first part of the season that I really missed out on last year, especially with the weight training. Uh, that's something that I kind of stepped into and uh, you know just tried to get my bearings really quickly last semester. Uh, but now that I've had some time to kind of let it, you know, get myself situated, uh, it's pretty exciting to. To you know, see the group move as a whole, to see the addition of the freshmen, uh, and then most importantly, kind of see us work towards that goal at NC2As.